Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to adjust leveling stats on Ark Survival Ascended. Ark Survival Ascended is of course a survival game, and with that comes a leveling system in which you can grow stronger, face stronger enemies, get better loot, so on and so forth. But some people, like myself, don't like to wait so long to change these stats, and so today we're going over how to adjust the multipliers. Adding code to your ASA game.ini file. The first thing that you want to do, as we do with most tutorials here, is stop the server with the red stop button and double down on the pop-up that appears. After just a few moments, the server will shut down, and you're going to scroll down to the left-hand side where you see the config files section. It's underneath the settings gear. Click on that, and in the new page that pops up, you want to make sure at the top that the drop-down bar is selected to game.ini, because this is the only place that this will work. Now that you're on the correct page, you're going to take a look at the first bar up at the top, and it's going to say script, shooter game, so on and so forth, and you're going to scroll all the way down to the end of this section that will have a space in between the next section. You're going to make some extra space around what should be level 74 or 75, or in that area, and just make a couple of extra spaces in order to have a clean slate to work with. Now, let's talk about the different levels that you can change here. There are six of them in total, but in reality, you're probably not going to be using all six of them unless you want to, in which case that is also totally fine. But let's take a look at the code and understand how it works. The first thing that I want to talk about is the attribute ID that is featured in each one of these lines of code. And you'll see on each line there is a bracket with the number zero in it. This is the default one, of course, and this is just the example that we're using. But what these are are the individual attribute IDs that you change with the multiplier. Using this chart as a guide for the base level player stats, you're going to see zero is attributed to health, one is attributed to stamina, so on and so forth. The default value, of course, to most of these is one, with a few exceptions here and there. That means that for every level you get, it is multiplied by one, which is once again, default. If you wanna change the multiplier, then of course you're going to need to list each individual attribute ID and then the multiplier number that you want. In this case, I'm using three, so I'm multiplying it by three for my base stats. If you wanna do this with every single other one, then you totally can, it's up to you. But again, just for this example, I'm only doing the base player stats and the per level stats multiplier. And then you simply multiply it by the amount that you want, hit the green save changes, then you'll head back into your dashboard. And of course, you're going to need to start your server up. So hit that green start server button and double down on the pop-up. Once the server starts back up, you're good to go. Conclusion. Hopefully you found this quick little guide helpful as it definitely helps me out when I want to have a faster game. If you happen to like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time. Huh. Huh.